Hey everyone and welcome to another Canvas how-to. My name is Jess and I am going to walk you through how to import, export, and use the Commons feature to copy class courses or download new content into your courses all on Canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you will notice that I'm in the modules view. If your Canvas does not start out this way, that's perfectly okay. In order to get this view on your Canvas, you just go ahead and click this Modules button right here on the left-hand side. It's a blue button, and it'll be right here. All right, so on the right-hand side, you have Import Existing Content, Import from Commons, but you don't have any Export buttons. So the first thing we want to do, and let's just hypothetically say that this Canvas, the one I'm on right now, I have built by hand, uploaded all the things, and it looks perfect. And I want to take what I did in this course and copy it into another course. For example, if I teach two world history courses, I build all, all my content and everything into one course, I can literally copy that just like you would a copy and paste feature on Microsoft Word and paste it into another course. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. This is the course completed. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to click share to commons over here on the right hand side. Click share to commons. And then I need to figure out what I want to choose for my options. So I am very much, for right now, I'm still building courses and I'm not ready to show other people yet. If I'm in that, that state of mind, I'm going to click only me. If you feel confident enough to share your information that you've built for your course with all the people, you can choose to either do all Pinellas County Schools or select a group, or you can make it public to any Canvas Commons user. For right now, I'm going to select only me because I'm not confident enough to share it with the world yet. And I'm not going to click any of these buttons because I want the whole course, right? I've already built the whole course. I want the whole course on Commons. If you only want to share a template, you can share this template or you can share it as like an open textbook. Choose the license. I'm going to put copyrighted right now. You've got to give it a title and you've got to give it a description. Share for example is what I'm going to put on this one. Enter tags if you want to. This might help. If you decide to share to the public, this will help people search for and locate your content. And you'll notice you have to have an image. It's got a red star up here. So you can upload your own if you want, but for right now, I am just going to choose one of the stock photos. Select the grade level if you want. It's just a click and drag. So 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade share. When you share, once the course is finished processing, a preview will be available. You can go ahead and click the details and you can click version notes if you want and if you've published this to the commons more than once or twice. Alright, so now we want to go to the dashboard. When you click dashboard, find the course that you want to paste all of that content into. For the purposes of this video, I'm going into the same one simply because this is the one I'm using for examples. But let's say you edited this one and you want to paste your content into the second course, you would then go into that course. On the right hand side, you choose import existing content or import from commons. Going import from commons, you click that button. 
Once you click that button, click shared. Up here at the top, it is a blue link. And you will notice what you have already shared to Commons is there. Click the blue title of the course. And then you click import or download. The import or download will automatically come up here to the right hand side. You select which course you want to import that shared commons course, the first one you did. So which courses? So for example, I only want it in that subject area. If you teach all the same subject area, go ahead and click all. If you want the course only in three out of seven classes because three of those classes are the exact same. You just click those three. And then you would click import into course and boom, it's there. You're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. I would recommend going into each of those courses though and making sure that the links work for that specific course. There's been times when a link is copied over from one course, and so it appears in second period, but it will link back to first period. That can cause some access issues because students do not have access to first period if they're enrolled in a second period course. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's one way to import a course that you've already finished. Another way to do it is you can go import existing content. So you click that button, content type, copy a Canvas course, and you can choose which course you want to copy. So let's say I want to copy the Coaching Institute or Coaching Institute. It's giving me a um, red exclamation mark because this is the same course. You should not have that unless you've copied the course two times or you're in the wrong course. So you just select whichever course you want to import. You can choose all content or select specific content. The selecting specific content is great for when you've changed up a specific portion of your original course, your, your master course that is, and then a great idea is it'll pop up a pop-up box down here underneath where current jobs is right here underneath it will pop up a, a box over here on the right hand side and you will click import or select content and that will give you an option to choose which content you specifically want to add in and you're not just importing the entire um, master course. Alright, I'm going to cancel this for right now and I'm going to go home. And the next thing I'm going to show you is exporting. So exporting is great for saving. So scroll until you find settings on your left hand side, click settings. And you're going to click export course content on the right hand side. You will notice I've exported different things. So you can choose to export course or quiz and you can choose which quizzes you want, all quizzes or if you only want one quiz. When you export a course, create export, it might take a little bit for this to occur, that's okay, especially if you have a larger course. But again, this is great for saving a backup file on your computer. So this is the new export. These are ones I've done previously. When you click new export, it will automatically download. But what you'll notice here is that your computer is not going to be able to open this. That's because these files are only readable to Canvas. So let's say that something happens in Canvas and you want to use what you saved to restore your Canvas class to prior to whatever happened. You go to settings, 
you go to import course content. Select content type and canvas course export package. Choose file. It'll be in downloads. Remember, only canvas can read a canvas download. So here's the two. All right, that one's from yesterday. You'll notice this one looks like it's from today. Yep, so you choose that. You can choose all content or select specific content. And all you do is you click import. When you import a course this way, you do have to double check and make sure that your links are correct and that you have to adjust your events and due dates. So double check with that. And then the last thing real quick is it's a great idea to explore commons. So a great way to explore commons on your account is click this button over here on the yellow side. And you will notice that when you get here, different things will pop up. So you can download course content, you can download entire courses, documents. It's a great way to explore. You can also see what you have shared on commons. And that gives you a greater idea of what you have available as in resources that are shared. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need additional help, please let me know or comment below. And I will get you an answer as fast as I possibly can. Thank you so much.